Okay, so I pretty much just put in a sped up version of the game against Paul, which was my week 8 game, and let me just go over the team that I brought really quickly and give you some brief overviews as to what I thought going into the game. Um, so I brought this uh, Executor set. Frisk is super useful to gain a, a knowledge on items of my opponent's team. With Wish, I'm able to keep the rest of my team healthy. So there's enough special attack to Oko, a defensive Mega Scizor with Flamethrower, and Draco Meteor to kill Garchomp and Giga Drain to do some decent damage to things. Uh, this thing was super important, so letting it die very early game, bad move. Greninja. Uh, this was probably my biggest downfall, was bringing this specific Greninja set with Water Shuriken, Surf, Ice Beam, and Dark Pulse. Ultimately, I should have changed Surf for Extra Sensory, or I should have changed Choice Specs for Shattered Psyche with uh, Extra Sensory. So that's kind of where I sort of messed up there. Um, however, I can't really go back and change my prep for this obviously uh it, this set along with the way the game went in general kind of sort of ruined my passion for the game uh i just don't like being in front of a mod that just clicks recover for so many turns in a row uh it, it's just kind of sort of annoying to me but this was my big miss prep and this is where i pretty much lost the game was in prep with this uh choice scarf to maintain with will wisp to try to catch Garchomp being his switch into this thing to burn it. Uh, U-turn to gain some momentum. I'm running a uh, dual scarf this week. Uh, hitting the same speed tier, which is Mesprit. With Baton Pass, Heat Wave, Hidden Power, Ice, and Thunderbolt. Uh, Baton Pass is there instead of U-turn because I didn't want to take Rough Skin Rocky Helmet damage and force me to use Wish on Exeggutor. Uh, so that's why I have Baton Pass. Heat Wave was there for Mega Scizor, obviously, and Hidden Power Ice was there, so I'm not hard walled by... Um, Thundee T. Hidden Power Ice plus uh, Water Shuriken killed Thundee T. Guaranteed, unless he was like a Salt Vest or something like that. Then have Needle Queen with the Shooka Berry. This was helped to, to help take on Thundee T along with Get Up Stealth Rocks. Uh, and it also is there to take a hit from Garchomp and kill it with Ice Beam, make Darmanitan's job a little bit easier to clean up, maybe. And then we have Physically Defensive Mew to help take on Garchomp. Uh, ultimately, I think I had some pretty poor prep, mainly with Greninja. If I change Surf or if I change Surf, for extra sensory or dark pulse for extra sensory i think i probably would have won this game or if i had uh shattered psyche or if instead of choice specs i had expert belt because i think expert belt did extra sensory to it ko's uh spadef tog specs i don't know off the top of my head actually i'll calc it right now just so you guys know actually no it does about 38 percent or so with the expert belt with life orb it does 41 to 49 percent, so it, it was only an 18 percent chance to KO. So even with that, it would have been hard for me to like wear it down enough. But I would have needed to have a little bit of chip damage, and then come back in and then see if I could do that. This also does have a chance to flinch. So ultimately, I do think this is where I lost the game in prep. Uh, but I'm also not super happy with mods right now. I'm just not enjoying it overall. Uh, the game against Paul kind of sort of ruined my enjoyment of it right now. Having to sit in front of a team and just lose to recovery it's kind of sort of sucks but you know it was my fault can't be mad at paul but uh let's just go ahead and hop right over to week nine where i faced jordan and the southampton sneasels what's going on everyone my name is under the radar and welcome back to the ppl this is gonna be week nine against jordinez um at this point in time i have not uploaded week eight i might just put them both together in one video uh week eight was kind of sort of a shit show <laughs> spoiler alert if it is right before this uh i that was like the least my least favorite game I've ever had, so uh, I literally built this team five minutes ago. <laughs> so I really just need a break from Mons after my week eight game. It just killed any passion I had for it. But uh, I'll tell you the team that I'm bringing real quick against Dardinez, and I'll tell you his team. I have a Shookaberry, uh, really Spadef, speed enough to outspeed Excadrill Darmanitan, because his team has like, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll read off his team real quick. He has Manaphy, Excadrill, Dragonite, Whimsicott, Mega Sableye, Volcarona, Kyurem, and Bronzong. So, an 8-mon uh, an eight mon team, but a lot of very high-quality mons. So this has enough speed to outspeed uh, Excadrill. This has enough Spadef to be able to take a plus 3 or whatever it is uh, hit from Volcarona. And just kill it with a Smackdown, especially if I have Rocks up. Uh, Fire Punch, and then I have Rest on here to, to maybe try to get me some health back, like if I ever need to late game, but... We'll see, it all depends on what he brings. Like if he brings a Mega Sableye, I might be able to rest up against that. Also being able to smack down Dragonite to make it on the ground would be kinda sorta nice. 
eh, it doesn't really matter too too much. It would only help Needle Queen's Earth Power, but I'm also bringing a Fizz Def uh, Suicune with Skull Dice Beam Sub and Calm Mind. Uh, sub is there because this forces out a lot on his team. Like it forces out uh, Excadrill. It forces. Uh, it makes it so I can set up on Mega Sableye and hurt it. I can also set up on Bronzong and hurt the rest of his team that way. So if he wants to try to set up rocks on me turn one, this is probably going to be my dedicated lead to try to hurt him. The only thing that would hurt me is if he is uh, Prankster Whimsicott, but I don't think he will be. Uh, then we have Needle Queen. It's like speedy for uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. uninvested Excadrill. Spadef to help with Yachi Berry. I'll take a hit from uh, Kurum and then hit it back with a Rock Slide. Same thing, hit it with uh, hit Volcarona with a Rock Slide. Uh, and then Stealth Rocks are really important in this game because he does have Volcarona plus Kurum. So that's why that's there. Also, if you're wondering why there's no face cam, it is because I just woke up. <laughs> it is 2 p.m. and I just woke up. Then I have a Choice Scarf Zapdos with max speed to be able to outspeed Manaphy or speed time Manaphy uh, in the rain. Uh, if he goes for like Z Rain Dance or whatever. But Thunderbolt does a metric shit ton, so that's really nice. Um, and then I have Heat Wave, U Turn, Hidden Power Ice to give me some momentum as well. Uh, Manaphy is hard for my team to deal with in general, so I couldn't really do much about it. But then I have Comfey. I have a, this is going to be my main Kyurem check. Uh, Choice Scarf Flash Cannon does about 57%, so with Synthesis plus Leftovers I can get it all back. I don't think this thing gets another healing move um, to where I would be able to heal up. Yeah, I don't think it gets any other healing move. To where I would be able to heal up in the rain. Alright. Yeah. Uh, so I have to go with Synthesis, but that's fine with me. And then Psych Up is there just in case he wants to try to beat my Suicune 1v1 with um with Calm Mind Wars. I can actually go into this thing directly afterwards, click Psych Up, and then I'll be able to beat the uh, Mega Sableye 1v1 depending on its investment and things of that nature. Uh, but yeah, that's the calm face set. And then I have Darkinium Z uh, Greninja. It's my first time bringing it with Workup. Uh, because this thing does force a lot of switches on this team, like it forces out Excadrill, Dragonite, especially if it's locked in. It forces out Excadrill if it's locked into Iron Head. Forces out Dragonite if it has its uh, thing broken and he doesn't have a DD up. Uh, Whimsicott doesn't really want to take a hit from this. Forces out Volcarona to an extent, and it forces out Bronzong. So if I get up a workup, and then I just click uh, Dark plus one Dark Pulse against something with Darkinium Z, something is going to die, and that'll be fun. So let's go ahead, and we will send, well, we'll accept this challenge from Jordan, and we'll get right into it. Yep, so we brought pretty much everything I was expecting. He didn't bring Excadrill, which is fine by me, because um, this thing has the Yachi Berry, which is good for Kyurem. <laughs> um... He's going to lead off with his Bronzong, I would assume, so I'm just going to lead off with my Suicune. Have fun, man. You don't have to invite people if you don't want to. Yeah, everything's level 50, so that's cool. <laughs> I'm so tired. Like, I was supposed to get up at like 9 a.m. this morning, build for this game. Do some chores around the house, get some stuff done. And I slept in until about 2 p.m., so. <sighs> yeah, I don't really feel like <laughs> sending it to them. Nah. Just us to focus and relax. Jordan isn't really having the best season. He is 1 in 7. He's 1-7 at this point. Um, <clears throat> so he pretty much needs this win to avoid relegation. I pretty much need this win to have my winning the whole league chances alive. But at this point, I don't really care. So, let off with Sableye. I'm going to set up a sub turn 1 because I don't want him to toxic me. <laughs> like, that would be bad. So I'm just going to set up a sub turn 1. Yes! <laughs> he said GG. <laughs> He's so funny. Oh my god, I love him. He brought so many special attackers that all he really has is Dragonite. And I think plus one Ice Beam does a lot to Dragonite.
You know, uh, without stealth rocks, it still does 50%, so. Okay. <clears throat> so you got a crit on the knockoff, which kind of sort of sucks, but it's whatever. We'll go for another Calm Mind. I'm at plus two. Versus, what is this thing called? Save a In order for Scald to two hit KO, I need to be at plus three if he's Fizz Def. Feel the same way about your Kirim. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna click sub again. Sweet. So now here's the thing. If I go to plus three on Dragonite, it does 93 to 110 through multi scale. I think what I need to do is I need to set up a Calm Mind here and hope that I get the roll. If not, I still do have the plus three priority. Comfy in the back. Plus if he goes for a Dragon Claw and he's like not Life Orb or something like that, then it actually doesn't break my sub. Well, it's a roll to not break my sub. Thunder Punch. It's fine. He is Life Orbed. Life Orb Thunder Punch does 43.9% max. 61. Now I'm going to click Ice Beam. Did 35. Sweet. This is out of the way. So, the biggest threat to my team is now gone, in my opinion, aside from Manaphy. Volcarona, I'm not super, super worried about. Um,. Kiram can't kill me with the Draco Meteor and an Ice Beam does 42%. Oh wait, he can kill me with the Draco Meteor. If he's Choice Specs, he can kill me with the Draco Meteor. Oh, I just realized he said his girlfriend's internet isn't that great. It's okay, man. No worries. Three hundred and thirty-seven spadef. Suicune is way too fat. I hate this mod. <laughs> That was his one physical attacker, it looked like. Um, now that I'm at plus three, if he goes into his Sableye to knock me off. What worries me is that he's Z Rain Dance Manaphy. Yeah. I think I'm going to abandon the setup on this because I can set up again on uh, Bronzong. I'm going to go right into Zapdos. So I think my Zapdos.
Thunderbolt does 86 if he has no HP investment. He went for Tail Glow. This is 86 to 102 if he has no HP investment. If he does have HP investment, then I'm going to be able to go into my Greninja next and click Darkinium Z and kill it or something else. Yeah, I'm clicking Thunderbolt here. I'm Choice Scarfed. So if, he's, if he goes for like Z Rain Dance right here, it'll be a speed tie next turn. And then hopefully I win the speed tie. <laughs> Does 86 to 102, that did 89. He has no HP investments. He's Z Rain Dance. He has Z Rain Dance, so now he's at plus one speed. This is a speed tie if he is max speed. He does get the he does win the speed tie. Did that crit matter? No. Either way, I think I can go into my Comfey. Draining Kiss does 14 if he has no HP investment, which I already assumed he does not. So I get to go into this, and I get to click Draining Kiss. And now he has powered up my Surfs on my Greninja. Funny that he won the speed tie. Let's see if he stays in. He does stay in, and that is Manaphy gone. I did not get 6 0 by Manaphy! Yes! <laughs> Triage is such a stupid ability. <laughs> it is such a stupid ability. So what I'm going to do here, uh, depending on what he goes into, if he goes into Bronzong next, I'm going to click U-turn. If he goes into his Volcarona next, I'm going to click U-turn. Um, then I'm going to, if he goes into his Volcarona next, I'm going to click U-turn and go into my Darmanitan. I will be slower than his Volcarona, more than likely. He sets up a Quiver Dance. My uh, Darmanitan can take any one hit as long as it's not Hidden Power Rock. <laughs> uh, even if it is Hidden Power Rock, I think it can take a plus one. If it's Hidden Power Ground, even better. Um... And then I can hit smack down against it, and then it'll be in range of... <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my god, I don't care, man. <laughs> yeah, it's dumb. <laughs> dumb? <laughs> dumb. Plus three priority is stupid. <laughs> I'm mad that my my spell Yeah, I think I'm probably going to put these two videos, like, in the same thing. Just so that you guys can, like, enjoy both of them together. But now that Manaphy and Dragonite are gone, and I saw pretty much my entire team healthy, uh, it's going to be hard for him, honestly. Like, he can go into Volcarona and set up an attack, but... Like, I can U-turn out, go into my Darmanitan, which will be my check. He's probably expecting me to be Choice Scarf Darmanitan um, with Rock Slide. That'll hurt both of his team, but I wanted to go with a Mimi Darmanitan. <laughs> so I went into Bronzong. I'm going to click U-turn. And then I'm going to go into my Nidoqueen, I think.
or I could go into my I could go into my Suicune but I'm just gonna fire off Scalds until I die weaken down pretty much his entire team like if I can get the burn on Sableye this is rain boosted it'll do a lot of damage Um, after rocks, I can still take a hit. Greninja can still win this game for me, and so can Comfey. So I'm gonna keep uh, keep clicking Skull to wear this thing down. Goes for the light screen. That's fine. Like he can get up his dual screens. Because if he gets up his dual screens right here, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go into my Greninja. I'm going to set up a workup. I could just fire off the Darkinium Z. Okay. Go into Darmanitan. Nothing he can do can kill me. At all. And I click Smackdown. Um, I think I might click Fire Punch here. Fire Punch versus Onslaught. Fire Punch to 75 to 89. He has no investment. You know you've played Mons too long when you run smack down for Rock Slide. <laughs> Click Fire Punch should kill this thing, and it does. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Jordan is so funny, man. I freaking love the guy. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to click U-turn and go into Comfey. Screen is four turns. I'm gonna click U turn. U turn did 21%. So it looks like he's fully spadef. And the light screen went away. So now, the second I get into my Greninja, I click work up and then I go for Darkinium Z because Greninja. No. Darkinium Z. Plus one. Dark Pulse does 86 to 103. Does 80 to 95. So I need to keep him below 80%. Click Rock Slide. Did I really just catch this thing on a Rock Slide? Yes, I'm so good at this game! Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go right into this because it just lives any hit ever. <laughs> or not. How did that kill? How did that just kill? Like, I get that he crit me, but that shouldn't have even killed through a crit. 
The only way they killed if he was timid specs and got a crit. This is my only chance. He's at 78%. He clicks Ice Beam and freezes me here, then it's the whole game. If this is scarfed, then I lose. If he sets up a quiver dance, I lose anyway. He's not scarfed. Cool. <clears throat> so plus one dark pulse versus Qrem black. I don't know. That's not Qrem black. It's just regular Qrem. What's this? 48 to 57. He's out of range of a Dark Pulse guaranteed. Yeah. Yep, and that's game. I don't think I can live this Earth Power. I mean, I don't really have another choice. Oh, I outsped him. What? Damn. That was a good game, though. That was a good game. That was a great game. Holy shit. Wow. Well, guys. <laughs> That is my week nine game, and I won 2-0 using some heat sets. There's her. Um, let me tell him how much speed I was real quick. 204. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was still an amazing game. Uh, Jordan, thank you so much for the battle, man. I wish you the best of luck with your season. Uh, but guys. Speed for uh, but guys, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here. Thank you all again so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Um, bye bye.